it's after dark and what more fitting after dark at the late night gamer to play Chaos Isle Deluxe Survivors Kit from Realm Master Gameforge. This is quite a small game, it's a very nice filler game if you like, but it has a huge replayability, huge variety, and it is tons of fun. So let's open up and see what's inside. This is for actually for one up to six players. Each player will play a character that are fighting zombies and trying to accomplish the mission. And there's an island where this evil doctor has unleashed all these zombies and you're trying to, to survive and, and accomplish your mission. And you can either play this game as a single round or hand as it's called or in a campaign mode accomplishing different hands. So you can see that there are all these different characters. You have the quarterback, you have a general, you have the surgeon, or it's, I think he's actually a gynecologist. You have Quentin, obviously an inmate. You have Pinky the Clown. You have a corporal, seem to be a Scot. You have a copper. You have Dr. Seat's, Dr. Set's assistant. We have Jane Doe from the hospital, we have an intern from the hospital, and you know, each of the characters have, have a different story that you can read to give flavor. And there are many, 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 many more characters in this game. I also want to mention that you can even be the broad mother, which is a zombie, of course, trying to kill off all the characters. Right, so at the beginning of the game, each player is randomly dealt a character card. Then each player is dealt one of these mission cards um, and, and they, they are dealt out secretly. The object is to gather 20 supplies and you get supplies by killing zombies and this mission is to this mission is to acquire a, vir a virus sample and you need 10 virus resources and there are, there are quite a few missions, uh, other missions as well. And there are, there are quite a few missions in this uh, mission deck. So each character is randomly dealt one secret mission. Then there's a deck of cards with equipment. So each character also gets two equipments. So Daisy here will get a shuriken, which will help her attack. You can attack two per turn. Or and the shredder. And that is actually a weapon for some reason. And Loretta here is getting a skateboard. Increases her speed and chi tobacco, which uh, is some kind of stimulant so that she can have more attacks. Next, each player is secretly dealt a feed card. And a feed card describes certain game effect that you can trigger during play. This one is send help. And they have three effects which, which you can activate. An ordinary effect or the incredible and the unbelievable, which is a stronger effect. Now, in order to trigger this, you need to pay one of these, or any combination of these um, requirements. The first one is take a wound. The second requirement that you can that you can fulfill is to discard an equipment card or discard a zombie, because when you fight zombies and you win, you keep them. Here you can discard them to, to, to activate this card. And in order to activate an ordinary effect, you need to fulfill one requirement. When you choose, you can discard an enemy or you can take a wound and trigger the ordinary effect. For the more stronger, incredible effect, it has to be two requirements, but it don't have to be two different ones. It can be, you can discard two different zombie, zombies, or you can take two wounds, so you can discard one wound and one equipment or two equipment. And the third is the unbelievable effect. Whereas you need three requirements, but you can also here you can choose. It can be three zombies and, and any of, or, or two wounds and one zombie or any combination as long as it's, it is three. So these are, are, are cards that you play to mess a little bit with the other player. And then you have the big pile of enemies 
from which you will draw every turn and you may get you know zombie to fight a task to fulfill could be events that you need to trigger or it could be mutator effects that will enhance or make it more difficult to defeat the zombie or to complete the task. So one other thing I'd like to mention is that your character, if it fights a zombie and it's killed, you're not out of the game, you actually then becomes the zombie and you get to play this zombie with the attack that this zombie and the stats that this zombie has. Which is interesting because when you are playing when you're playing six players and you're taken out early, well it's not lost, you get to be a zombie and now you get to attack the other players. And if you kill other players, you even get points. So and the last thing you need to think about are these viruses which infects the zombie. Or actually they infect the gameplay because every round or every hand, that means from you start the game until one is declared a winner, that's one hand, you will draw one of these cards. So if you play a campaign you will get a new virus card for every hand. So you draw one of these cards and it will interfere with gameplay for instance. And each card has two effects, a mild and an acute effect and you actually roll a die to determine that on a 1 to 3 it's a mild effect on a 4 to 5 it's an acute effect if it's a 6 well then it's a pandemic effect and you need to draw one more card to add it to the first one so it becomes more dramatic but this game also plays solitaire and that is what I am going to show you Mm-hmm. <laughs>